Here we have the problem 4 and 2 tenths times 3. It's written as an expression because there is no equal sign. To actually solve this problem using the standard algorithm, I need to set my problem up vertically, which I'm going to do in red. 4 and 2 tenths times 3. Notice how I keep my numbers aligned with each other, and I do not have them lined up by place value. My 3 is in the 1's place, my 4 is in the 1's place, but they're not in the same place value when lined up in the standard algorithm because I know I need to have my 3 furthest to the right so I can multiply the numbers on top without getting confused. So I'm going to start with th 3 times 2 tenths, which is 6. Then I'm going to move to 3 times 4, which is 12. To figure out how many decimals I need, I'm going to see how many decimals or how many numbers are after my decimal. In this case, it's only one, which means I need one number, one digit, after my decimal place in my answer as well. So my answer is actually 12 and 6 tenths. Here I have another problem, 6 and 402 thousandths times 3. Again, it's written as an expression, which means we cannot solve it using the standard algorithm in this way. We have to write them vertically. 6 decimal 402 times 3. And again, notice that my numbers are nice and spaced out, but my place values are not aligned, so I can multiply out um, quickly. So I always start with my number to the right. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12, but I cannot put two numbers below, so I put my 2 downstairs, my 1 next door. 3 times 6 is 18, plus my 1 is 19. So I'm not done yet, because I need to make sure that I place my decimal in the appropriate spot. So I'm going to look for my decimal at top. There are 1, 2, 3 digits, or 3 numbers, after my decimal place. This means that in my answer, I also need three digits or numbers after my decimal place. So I'm just going to start down here. One, two, three. And so my product, or my answer, is 19 and 206 thousandths. In our last example, we have 13 and 42 hundredths times 5. Again, this is written as an expression. We cannot solve this using the standard algorithm when it's written this way. We need to write it out vertically. 13 and our decimal 42 thousand or excuse me hundredths times 5. Okay and one more time I have all of my numbers aligned perfectly so I will not get confused. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. 5 times 2 is 10. My 0 goes downstairs. I carry my 1. 5 times 4 is 20 plus my 1 is 21. 1 downstairs carry my 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17, carry my 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Now I need to figure out how many digits I need after the decimal. So where am I putting my decimal? So my decimal is right here, and I have 1, 2 numbers afterwards, which means in my answer and my product, I also need 2 numbers after my decimal. So it will go right here, so my 1 and my 0 are after the decimal.